Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up to the festival, according to the custom. After the festival was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. This story is incredibly intriguing and perhaps even controversial. Twelve-year-old Jesus, instead of obediently returning to Nazareth with his parents after the Passover festival, stays in the temple to converse with the scribes. At first glance, this seems like a classic case of youthful rebellion. But was Jesus disobedient? Let's consider if sometimes God likes to surprise us a bit isn't it true that true obedience to God involves more than just meeting the expectations of our surroundings, family, friends or colleagues? When Joseph and Mary finally find Jesus in the temple, the young man responds, Why were you searching for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? This response is like a wake-up call for those who think obedience always must align with human directives and expectations. Jesus shows that true obedience involves listening to God, even if it means going against the grain. Let's recall the story from the fifth chapter of Acts, where Peter and the other apostles stated, we must obey God rather than human beings. Faithfulness to God requires the courage to sometimes do something that seems wrong or inconvenient for others, but is in line with God's plan. However, let's not think that obedience to God absolves us of responsibility toward others. After this little adventure, Jesus returned with his parents to Nazareth and, as the Bible says, was obedient to them. This story shows that being faithful to God also includes respect and care for our loved ones. The Gospel reminds us that our daily duties and relationships are also important. In the sixth chapter of Ephesians, we read, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Obedience to God's commandments is not contradictory to responsibility towards others. They complement each other. So how do we find the balance between obedience to God and responsibility to people? Here are some tips on how to start dealing with such a challenge. In the fifth chapter of Thessalonians, Apostle Paul said, Pray continually. You don't have to walk on your knees every day. Sometimes a short conversation with God on your way to work is enough. In other circumstances, however, don't forget about a longer conversation with our Father. When in doubt, ask others. In the 15th chapter of Proverbs, we read, Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. Remember, Sometimes the best advice comes over a cup of coffee with a friend. Be like Daniel in the lion's den, but with a smile on your face. Don't be afraid to stand up for your faith, even if it means being the black sheep. Look into the sixth chapter of Daniel for inspiration. In the 25th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus said, Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Remember, serving others doesn't have to be a burden. It can be an adventure, a joy, and self-fulfillment. 
The story of young Jesus in the temple teaches us that faithfulness to God doesn't always mean complying with people's expectations. Sometimes it requires the courage to go against the current and listen to God's voice. It's a kind of divine assertiveness that Christians need in today's world. At the same time, remember that true obedience according to the Bible always includes responsibility and care for our loved ones. Let's hold on to the truth that faithfulness and obedience to God are the keys to a happy life. Remember, God often acts in ways that surprise us and his paths are often full of holy contrariness. In today's world, full of glitter, noise and pressure, let's learn to be obedient to God with joy and grace, each in our own unique way, knowing that the Father will always guide us on the right paths. May God bless us all.